You might have heard of the CH-53E Super Stallion and the CH-53K King Stallion. Both are designed by Lockheed Martin Company and Sikorsky Aircraft as the U.S. Marine Corps heavy lift helicopters and are used to transport heavy weapons, equipment, supplies, as well as personnel for combat assaults. Which one, however, is superior? The CH-53E Super Stallion is capable of swiftly delivering personnel and equipment from ship to shore, allowing amphibious assaults to be launched, logistics and maintenance to be facilitated, sustainment and supplies to be provided, and the warfighter to be equipped for mission accomplishment. For more than 30 years, the Marine Corps Super Stallion has been a workhorse across the world, executing a wide spectrum of military combat missions in Beirut, Somalia, the Persian Gulf, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya. 138 CH-53E aircraft are currently in service. The CH-53E is now out of production and through a rolling phase of rebuilding, upgrading and boosting safety, reliability, and capabilities known as a reset for the Super Stallion. This reset is to ensure that the CH-53E retains mission capability until it was replaced by the CH-53K King Stallion. The CH-53K King Stallion, on the other hand, is essentially a heavy lift replacement version for the CH-53E Super Stallion. It is newly built and is the Department of Defense's most powerful helicopter that will improve the fleet's capacity to carry more stuff very quickly throughout the responsibility zone by utilizing proven and modern technology. Four aircraft of the King Stallion are now undergoing initial operation test and evaluation at the Marine Corps Air Station, New River, North Carolina Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron, VMX-1, with over 2,500 flying test hours. Currently, 33 program aircraft have been delivered or are under contract. To compare, the Super Stallion was known to dominate the American skies as the largest and most powerful helicopter of the nation. It can hoist large military equipment while being compact enough to fit into an amphibious combat ship from which it can take off with 16 tons of cargo and transport it 50 miles away before returning to base, while the CH-53K King Stallion is designed to hoist only 27,000 pounds or equivalent 13.5 tons, smaller than that of its predecessor. However, with such a cargo load, the CH-53K can travel at a mission radius of 110 nautical miles in Navy high or hot settings, nearly three times the lift capabilities of the CH-53E Super Stallion. Besides, it is capable of rising from 103 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level to 91.5 degrees Fahrenheit at 3,000 feet above main sea level. It also has a smaller shipboard footprint cheaper operational expenses per aircraft, and fewer direct maintenance man hours per flying hour. Primarily assigned as the combat assault transport of heavy weapons, equipment, supplies, and troops, the Super Stallion has a weight with external load of 73,500 pounds and height as well as length of 28 feet 5 inches and 99 feet 0.5 inches respectively. It is crewed by four people, a pilot, a co-pilot, a crew chief, and a mechanic or a gunner. This powerful helicopter is also equipped with a global positioning system, forward-looking infrared radar, aviation night vision imaging system heads-up display, and 350 caliber cannons as a mission kit. Ultra-high frequency or very high frequency or high frequency radios, secure communication capacity, and identification friend or foe are all part of communications. The King Stallion, in contrast, has a length of 99 feet 0.5 inches, height of 28 feet 4 inches, and a weight of 88,000 pounds with external load. Two pilots and one to three air crewmen make up the crew. The cabin portion of the King Stallion is 12 inches wider than its predecessor, allowing it to internally carry two 10,000-pound AMC-463L pallets or five AMC-463L half pallets or a Humvee. Further to this, since it is designed to be under Navy high or hot circumstances, 
it can transport two up-armored Humvees or one light-armored vehicle version. In terms of features, moreover, the King Stallion has a CAAS glass cockpit for next-generation joint interoperability. It is also fitted with fly-by-wire flying controls for increased survivability, safety, and maintenance. This is enhanced with fourth-generation high-efficiency composite rotor blades with sweeping anadrol tips. Its elastomeric rotor heads requiring less maintenance also improves aircraft dependability and maintainability while lowering noise and vibration. Another difference between the CH-53E Super Stallion and the CH-53K King Stallion is their engines. The Super Stallion is powered by three T-64 GE416 turboshafts, producing propulsion of 4,380 shaft horsepower each. This makes the helicopter able to fly at a speed of 172 miles per hour or 150 knots and reach a ceiling of 10,000 feet without supplemental oxygen. Acquiring more power than the Super Stallion, the King Stallion instead uses three T408 GE 400 turboshaft engines rated at 7,332 shaft horsepower for its propulsion. These boost the airspeed of the helicopter for 195.6 miles per hour, or equivalent to 170 knots, and reach a 18,500 foot ceiling. To include, both the CH-53E and the CH-53K carry Marines heavy equipment and supplies from ship to shore in support of amphibious assaults and following onshore operations, but the CH-53K is now the Marine Corps' successor for the CH-53E heavy lift helicopter with more power and wider cargo hold. The Marine Corps intends to purchase around 200 operational King Stallion helicopters as well as a few test items. According to the service's most recent budget records, the Pentagon has spent $1.2 billion on the King Stallion in previous years and has requested another $256 million in the fiscal year of 2022 budget proposal. In accordance with Marine Corps timelines and requirements, the CH-53K is still on pace for first fleet deployment and the delivery to the Marine Corps for operational squadron deployment is scheduled for fiscal year 2024. Furthermore, Sikorsky wants to build at least another 100 CH-53K King Stallions for overseas markets, including for Israel and Germany. So, between the CH-53E Super Stallion and CH-53K King Stallion, which one do you like better? Leave your comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you on the next episode.